How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Show Ticket. Welcome back to Steins Gate, my darling's embrace. We're on the Mayuri path, and it's been just adorably pleasant. Really interesting. Last time was really, like, we got, like, a snapshot of just, like, how Mayuri already feels like, 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 a pot like, she's, she's, like, gray gold, SSR, wife material. <laughs> she's young. She's young for that, obviously, but still, like, she just came in. She's just like, oh, yeah, I'll help you do your laundry. I'll help you, uh, help you, like, work your, your parents' store while your dad steps out. It was glorious and fun, and everybody pretty much like, kind of agree that the two of them are good together. Um, it's really hammering that home, and we also had that very, like, spicy dream that Okabe uh, had, where he kind of broke through the, like, the friendship barrier mentally a little bit, where he kind of has his subconscious is kind of screaming at him that he's attracted to her. Uh, he's still in denial as, you know, Okabe is good at doing, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And now, unfortunately, last episode started this almost the exact same scenario where he was asleep in the lab, and waking up, someone's in the shower. Oh boy, <laughs> we'll see how this one plays out. But I'm sure it'll be fine, fine. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly actually happen? You know, it's not like he didn't have a dream that might inadvertently lead to this being a thing. So, yeah, we'll have to just see how it all plays out. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited to be playing. I hope you're excited to join me. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy this series. And as we continue on, I look forward to reading your thoughts. So, let's jump in. <sighs> the distant sound of the shower had woken me up. I rubbed my eyes and looked at the clock. 3 a.m. I had planned on just taking a nap, but I guess I accidentally fell asleep for a while. Oh, wait. I turned my head toward the shower room. I think I know what this is. If I, I, I just remembered what was happening. So, um, Mayori had an exhausting day, but it's the day before the festival, aka the day before, um, Mayori's, uh, wake for her grandma, her, like, like the, the, the family get together at, at her grave. And so that's what this day is going to be. So it's 3 a.m. So technically in like seven hours, not even seven hours, it's probably like five hours, she's going to be going to the grave site for her grandmother. But they need to make sure she gets there on time. But she like was super exhausted and fell asleep in the lab and Okabe elected to stay here with her. I turn my head toward the shower room. Under the patter of the shower, I can hear Mayuri's breathing. She must be the one showering. Then where could Daru be? When I looked over at the development room, the lights were off. He must have gone home. Wait. I was overwhelmed by a feeling of deja vu. I remember this situation. <laughs> I've done this before. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. This is the curious dream I had last night. The one where Mayuri was wearing her bikini in the shower for some reason and then comes on to me. It's completely baffling. <laughs> Your lizard brain is trying to scream at you, Okabe. I return my gaze to the shower room again. I'd like my dream. The curtain's closed, and there's no way that she'd best be show she'd be showing up in her bikini. Ugh, this is stupid. Listen to the braid, but don't do anything stupid. I managed to push the tenac the tenacious image from my mind and lean back on the couch. <sighs> it's the middle of the night. Daro's not here, and I've got nothing to do. I close my eyes and try and get back to sleep. With my eyes closed, I'm unable to focus on anything but the sound of the shower. <laughs> it's a lose-lose situation, man. And something she said to me in the dream came back to me like a refrain. I think about it, Okabe. Think about it. Think about it. Not that much. <laughs> I tried to shake the voice out of my head. My heart began to pound a little bit faster. That's enough, Yon and Kyoma. Think about something else. Anything else. But the human brain is a fascinating thing, and the more I tell myself to think about something else, the harder it gets to do so. Mm-hmm. My area having fun at the photo shoot at the park. My area saving my life at the pool. Think of the way Mayuri expresses herself and see her face over and over in different ways. The shower stops and I hear the person in the shower coming out. Drying their body with a towel, getting getting dressed, it all sounds sensual. 
If Dario steps out of the shower, I'll have a funny story to tell. I think before I think before I hear my Yuri quietly sigh. <clears throat> okay, slow down. Why do I feel so nervous about this? Mayuri's taken tons of showers at our lab, so why do I feel like a puberty-stricken middle schooler now? I don't know, Kabe. Maybe you should be asking yourself why it took you this long. <laughs> Once she had finished dressing, the curtain opened and Mayuri stepped out. Unsure of how to respond to this, I quickly pretended to be asleep. If I opened my eyes right now, Mayuri so sensitive that she would feel bad about waking me up. Better to just fake it. Besides, I felt kind of guilty for having such dirty thoughts. Human, though. You're human. It's the question of whether or not you act on those thoughts and what's driving you to do it. Like, if you were seeing Mayuri as an as a I guess simply a source of pleasure or a potential like source of just like, you know, having like experiences, then that's probably not cool, not kosher, not unusual, but like entertaining those thoughts beyond a certain point, especially because they're a real person, you know, like you gotta think about that and be respective of that. But you're having these thoughts on top of having a very clear, established, well-rounded relationship. A level of respect, care, and adoration that you have shared. So literally having these, these thoughts are perfectly reasonable. As long as you aren't going to try and then pressure people to do things they don't want to do. Which we, we, we probably know that that wouldn't really happen in this situation, really. But it's like, it's a good rule, full, rule of thought. And, and like, like, I grew up in a very traditional... Uh, high morality driven uh culture and like that's okay it's fine to have your standards and to keep them but i think it can be a little unhealthy to press that upon people which is why i'm kind of passionate about this topic right now you should never feel guilty for having dirty thoughts dirty thoughts are part of being human it's what you do with those thoughts those thoughts that matter like your actions. Your thoughts can lead to bad actions and you should check and make sure that your thoughts are following healthy patterns because there are instances where it is very unhealthy and you need to get help. Um, like the more you objectify people and turn them into objects rather than um, individuals with hopes and dreams, when you stop seeing people as people and start seeing them as means to an end, then that's starting to lead down a path that's too dark and dangerous to be, and you need to be careful of. But you can't let beat yourself up just for having thoughts. And I know most, I'm probably speaking to the choir. I don't think any of you need to hear this per se, but if anything, maybe I need to say this because I wish I could tell my younger self this because I really beat myself up a lot when I was younger for very normal things because I thought it was bad. So if I can spare you that, I hope I can, or at least make you think about it more. Anyway, I hear Mayuri quickly, uh, quietly walking around the lab. The smell of her shampoo, the body wash tickles my nose. In what I presume was an attempt to not wake me up, Mayuri slowly opened the door to the fridge, took out some barley tea, poured it into a glass, and drank it. She sighed and walked over, walked over to me. Then she sat down right beside me. Oh, if you think she's asleep, what's she gonna do? She stays still for a moment. Then she rustles around in her bag and took something out. I very slightly opened my eyes to see her holding Robo Mayushi in one hand and sewing a needle in the other. It's almost complete, so she must be putting on the finishing touches on it. She kept sewing Robo Mayushi's clothes for a while, then she sighed and spoke aloud. <sighs> Yay! She put down her sewing implements and raised Robo Mayushi to eye level. She's probably checking it for any problems. Mayushi muttered to herself contentedly, then placed her handcraft doppelganger on the table. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Remember she was talking about potentially moving, and she said she wasn't? What if she is, though? And what if she's intending to leave Robo Mayushi as a way for Okabe to have, like, have Mayuri in her, his life without her actually being there anymore? Oh, Fadge, no! <laughs> Oh, no, I don't like this. The next moment she turned to me. I closed my eyes in a panic. That was close, but somehow I don't think she noticed. I tried to not move a muscle as Mayuri stares at me, or at least I think she's staring at me. For a long time, I don't hear anything but the sound of her breathing. How long is this going to last? Tired of pretending to be asleep, I started planning how I could pretend to wake up. 
First, I'll start moving like I'm about to wake up, then open my eyes and mumble. Oh, what is it, my eh? Yep, that's perfect. Let's do this. But just as I was about to enact my brilliant wake-up plan, my eerie started talking. Mm. Oh, come on. She spoke so quietly I could barely hear her. But her words quietly hit my ears. Yeah. Yeah, I like those things. Those are cool. Like festivals in general, they're definitely not like, like, like I remember going to things like this. Usually we, we refer to them as fairs. Um, and I don't think they were like, I think it sounds like in Japan, they have a lot of these more often per se. Um, not that there's no re like we don't have things like we have like farmers markets which almost sound like miniature festivals really and then we have like little fairs that'll pop up occasionally that are pretty small and stuff and they're pretty fun but um they like it's so prevalent in japanese like like media that i i see it makes me it makes it feel like at least they do it a lot and it seems like like they've got at least one a month kind of a thing i don't really no, maybe if I looked harder, there would be the same thing in my areas, but it's just not something that's ever talked about a whole lot. So it makes me wonder if in Japan, like, is it really uncommon for people to just go to festivals all the time, or at least like more than a couple times a year? Because um, it certainly makes it sound like it's possible to go to a ton, just whether or not you want to. Aww. Oh, she stopped talking for a while. After the silence, the tone of her voice had changed slightly. Mm, that does sound like her. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get it. I, 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 I think I'd fall for Oka Bay if that were happening. <laughs> but I thought that Oh, man. I stopped speaking, returning the room to a complete silence. I wish I could see her face right now, but with my eyes closed like this, I can only imagine. Then, so the smell of her shampoo grows stronger. Oh, boy. <laughs> The sound of her breathing and the swish of her clothes draw close to my face. Well, what is she going to do? I held my breath. Her soft hand typically touches my cheek. She delicately strokes my face as if to trace its shape. Is this, is this another dream like the one I had yesterday? So I'm going to wake up in my room, then the surprise Mayuri is going to come see me on the floor? Is that it? Huh? I feel a warm drop of water land on my cheek. Hmm. Oh, fetch. I'm right, aren't I? One drop, two, then three. They quickly multiplied in number. And I hear... Wake up, you fool! Like, the tears are a good excuse. You wake up and you hug her, dang it! The quiet sounds of crying. Okabe, oh, I know. Culturally, not a thing, but freaking hug her! <laughs> Wait, is my already... Crying? I opened my eyes. <gasps> Mayuri gasped and covered her face with her hands. She jumped up from the sofa and rushed straight into the shower room. What? Mayuri! I followed after her. But just before I reached the shower room, I heard it. 
Uh, I heard a lock in front of me. Mighty! Those are the Oh, I don't like this. お前、なんで泣いてるんだ泣いてないよ。嘘だ。泣いてただろう、今。泣いてなんかいません。話してみろ、わけを。泣いてないもん。May <laughs> insisted strongly. Not knowing what to do, I lightly tap on the shower room door. わかった。お前は泣いてない。だから開けてくれ。そんなところにいたら暑くてたまらないだろう。なあ、マユリ。Oh boy. Oh boy. We're not ready for this, but you know what? You never are. So you just gotta just go for it, right? Hearing that only made me more worried about her, so I tried to knock a little louder. Just then, the lab entrance opened behind me. No. Psst, go away! Hmm? Get out of here! Just please for tonight! I whipped around to see Daru lumbering into the lab. He looked slightly baffled to see me. A beef bowl for a snack? This late? Is that what I would normally say, but that's not the time. If someone saw me like this without knowing what was going on, they'd... Oh, dang it. Hmm... Oh! Shut up! マリオちゃんと服を着ているはあ中に閉じこもったので出てくるよう説得していたのだ閉じこもったのなんであいやそれはなんか be hard to explain I didn't know what to say since I have no idea why she cried It really isn't anything I can say はまさかやっぱりマユシを襲っちゃったんだね Okay, okay. So that's his difference. He's saying that being a gentleman perv is okay because you do not act on it. I still think he's too he's a way too crass to, to really get away with that because I still think words are pretty painful and, and, and harmful in their own way. But yeah, I can see what he's saying here. Sorry, but you're Shortly after I said that, the shower room was unlocked and Mayori shyly stepped out. Her cheeks are red, but it's because I was, it was humid inside or she's embarrassed that I saw her cry. I couldn't tell, but the way Mayori smiled at Dario, you wouldn't think she was, you would think she was never crying. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You know, Okabe, this is a good glimpse for you to realize that she can put on a mask and she absolutely can lie. We always kind of like approach Mayuri with this like air of innocence, you know, the fact that she's Mayuri. Like, why would she ever like lie? Why would she ever like misconstrue the truth? She's just herself. She could barely like catch like subtle innuendos that Dara throws her away or has, has her say over and over again. And yet here's a great example of just how powerful a lie she can be. Because, like, that's the thing. The best liars are the ones that tell the truth 99% of the time. Because then you don't really know what to look for when they do lie. ちゃいろいむしああ、ごき。ああ、だめだよ。それ以上言っちゃだめ。それでね、ちゃいろいむしさんはマユシに襲いかかってきたの。ガオーって。だから驚いてここに逃げ込んだんだ。ねえ、おかりん。Right. I agree with Mayori's made-up story. I couldn't tell whether Dari believed that story or not. He didn't pry any further. 
I'm guessing he's like, something's a little fishy there, but he probably trusts Mayuri. He sat down in the front of the computer and started playing a vertical shooter he got from Kamima. I was worried about Mayuri, but with Daru around, I couldn't really ask her about why she was crying. Even if I tried to ask, she'd probably run, over to, uh, run away to over towards Daru. It all meant that I wasn't able to find out why she was crying. Fetch, I think I know. And right when the first train started running in the morning. Bye. Mayuri stood up and said, I have a memorial service today, so I should get going. She put on her shoes and was about to walk out when she turned to me. Mm. I look over at the Mayuri doll on top of the fridge. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Mayuri smiled from the bottom of her heart and said and said and said and then said sorry for some reason. I was going to ask her what she was sorry for, but by the by the by then she'd waved goodbye to Daru and me and headed down the stairs. Oh man. Oi, Mayuri! I leaned out the window and called out to Mayuri as she walked down the street. She turned and looked up at me. <laughs> Fetch, I'm right! Nayari waved her hand as she walked away. After all that, I still didn't know what the reason for Mayuri's tears. And that time, at that time, I wasn't able to ask her. But only half a day later. Yeah. That afternoon, the lab mems gathered together at the lab to prepare for the festival. Kurisu and Ferris each bought their own yukata and were getting changed behind the development room curtain, though Kurisu seemed to be struggling. I mean, it's not like she wears them all the time. Uh oh. Someone sent me a message. What is it? Luka. Hey, uh, hello, Kyoma. Today's the festival. It's still early, but it's getting crowded at the shrine. I'm at the main building selling fortunes and amulets. Please drop by later. Yo, Luka. The more people there, the more uh, more evil energy there is. There might be some evil spirit trying to latch itself to you. Keep Sadamari at you at all times. Oh, hello, Luca. Understood. Thank you so much, Kyoma-san. Rest assured, I will keep Sav uh, Savidai with me. By the way, what time are you coming by? Uh, let's see. Hmm, it might be a little while. Shining Finger and the part-time warrior are still at work. Plus, Christina is taking forever to get her Yukata on. Could she be a any more of a headache? Okay, come on. Eh. I wanted to wear a yukata. A yukata? That's awesome. I always wanted to wear one, but I'm working today, so I'm just in my Muku outfit. There's nothing shameful about wearing a Mikoto outfit during a festival. So save wearing a yukata for another occasion. Sounds good to me. Tell everyone I said hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, Daru? Just so hentai. <laughs> what a great job! Uh, あんたのことだ橋だ。何もしかして着替え手伝ってほしいの。ああ。一歩でも入ってきたらこらすからな。そうじゃなくて、さっきからものすごい鼻息が聞こえてくるんだけど、変な想像してるんじゃないでしょう
Look at that. They're so cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Freaking adorable. Yeah, well, it's okay. You're not doing that. <laughs> Surprisingly, did you have to say that? <laughs> Could if she starts panicking and picking a fight with me, but she actually looks like she's having fun. She might even be a little flattered. <laughs> I am full blood Japanese, right? <laughs> That's. <laughs> オカベのせいで本気でごかいしてる人がいるんですけど。おい、これフェリス。クリスティーナというのはお前と同じようにマナだぞ。マナじゃねえ。いいフェリスさん、この際だからきちんと説明する。よく聞いて。え、さっきあ
I fumbled with the strings, but eventually got the box open. Just as I thought, there was a beautiful clear star. It seemed to be made of clear acrylic rather than crystal, but the rainbow reflected within beautifully all the same. In the art, it's yellow, but obviously. Everyone looks into the box. Christmas tree no hoshida. Rei no yuen chi no satsue de tsukatta. Shina san no hoshizo datta kara. Heee! Naruhodo. Okabe no kuse ni wari to romantic no koto suru no ne. He is when the mood sets him. <laughs> ah. Romantic? There we go. That's a decent picture. I keep looking for the one that'll make a really good, uh, like, thumbnail. You know, I always have to be on the hunt for that because I want to make it eye-catching and make it so that, like, people who are perusing might be more interested in watching the video. This seems like a good one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't be so embarrassed, man. Still, Kurusu Ferris looked at me and smiled. I also got the feeling that, that behind her glasses, Finger was smiling with her eyes. I heard Daru murmuring, nothing wrong with being a loner to himself. <laughs> Someone who has no significant other and friends. Aww, he's, uh, he's got friends. It also refers to a person who, instead of doing something together with a group, does set activity alone. The term is popular among online message boards. <sighs> Dang, this is really hitting the death nail for the fact that Mayuri's totally leaving! そろそろって何かだ。その星をプレゼントするときにさ、思い切って言っちゃいなさいよ。だから言うって何かだ。ええ。にゃはは。またまたともけちゃって。<laughs> <laughs> Right. お前にそんなこと言われる筋合いはないわ。この妄想恋愛大好きっ子め。誰が妄想恋愛大好きっ子か。それじゃあ、今日のは平気なのかにゃ。他の男の子が眉氏に告白とかしても。there's <laughs>
that's a bro right there. That is, she, she's a wingman of ever, I've ever, if I've ever seen a wingman before, she is one. She's just like, tell you what, I'll buy the star. You just give it to that lovely girl. Hmm, I feel like people are mis misinterpreting my relationship with Mayuri. Oh well. Are they though? <laughs> I feel like you're the only one who's doing that, Okabe. Still, I think the star is going to make Mayuri happy. She might be feeling down because she couldn't make it to today, so that might be a nice gift. I'll try to give it to her tonight. I thought about how she'd react when she saw the star and smiled. I mean, you kind of did, but... Yeah, Yeah. Last night, while I was checking the photos, I sneakily saved a photo of Mayuri and I to a secret folder. What a bro. What a, what a, what a sneak. But it's absolutely what I would do, too. <laughs> Knowing the director, I have a feeling she'll take Moka seriously and reach out to me. I don't know if I can live through something as embarrassing a second time. Oh, here comes the hammer. Here comes the hammer. Oh. Look, it go burst into the lab in full Miko attire. Oh, here it goes. Everyone was stunned to see him in such an unusual state. His normal, beautifully styled hair stuck to his forehead of sweat. Beneath that messy hair, his eyes are filled with desperation. The white robe he's wearing hangs over his shoulder, exposing his sweaty neck and collarbone. If he's wearing, if he were a girl, this scene would be quite erotic. But he's a guy. The hems of his hakama, which have always kept clean, are dirtied, and so a surefire sign that he ran here. No, oi, Lukaku. Dostan. But Lukako didn't respond. He seemed to be having trouble breathing and was panting and wheezing heavily, just like me after a five minute run. Kokobe. Hurry, hurry! Let's get him calmed down so we can figure out what's going on. Dara had retrieved water from the kitchen, giving it to Lukako. Good job, Dara. Right, okay. He finished the entire cup in one go. I'm anxious! I know exactly what he's gonna say, but I'm anxious still! Oh no. Shocked by his words, I lean closer to Lukako. Right. あ。そう、それ、本当かにゃ。え、さっきクラスのことあったんですけど、職員室に、マユリちゃんとマユリちゃんのお母さんがいて、先生と話してるのを聞いたって。あ、ボーイ。そんな。ファラマンシャウドイン
No! Oh my god, no, that's not fair! Dang it, her phone's off. No, it's been disconnected, man. Normally it goes to email, it goes to voicemail. Oh man. どうして。もしも私がマユリならやっぱり言えないかもしれない。だからなぜこんな大事なことをマユリが俺に黙ってるわけがない。あんたさ、マユリをいつまで子供だと思ってるの。Cuz you looked at me straight in the eye and asked her question calmly and softly. There was no anger in her voice. I mean, she's right. <laughs> uh... She's, she's right. Fetch. I stumbled back and fell to the sofa. Stunned, I dropped the box containing the star on the floor. I didn't even have it in me to pick it up. I struggled for words. Mary is going to leave. No, she's left. Today's the day she leaves. It sounded unreal. Kudusu will leave someday too, even though we've welcomed her into the lab. Still, whenever she gets the chance to come back to Japan, she's welcome. But we've known that from the start. We've always known, even if we try not to talk about it. But Mayuri's different. Mayuri. Mayuri's the one person I thought would never leave me. I thought she'd always be here, smiling by my side. <sighs> Sad, like, it seems ridiculous, but it absolutely is, like, absolutely a thing. Like, you know, like, it's just one of those things that <clears throat> you take for granted that which is closest to you. You just do, and I mean, what are you supposed to do about that? Like, you care about people, but you think, oh, you know, they're just here. They're just going to be around all the time. But that's not really always true. But time can slip away from you, and you can take for granted the things that are closest to you most. The more they're prevalent, the more consistent they've been, the less you consider what would happen if they left. It's really, really disturbing how quickly and easily we can set ourselves into this position. Because, like, whilst it seems utterly ridiculous, and whilst we could see this coming pretty far off, I absolutely think that if we were in Okabe's shoes, we probably would be blindsided as well. In fact, it might have happened to some of you. Because she's my hostage. ま、ま、ゆりは俺の人質だ。人体実験の生贄なんだ。うん。Things change. <laughs> her tears last night, the strange things she's been saying, and her sad looking smile. I finally understand them all. Yeah. Did she actually say that? Oh gosh, she did! But I took it just like he did. It's a whole thing like when she just isn't around for like occasional things. Not like literally gone. I slowly stood up and took the doll that looked just like Mayuri from the top of the refrigerator. I pressed the button on her back. Oh, it's 
so sad now. <laughs> All of the messages Viori recorded are words of support for me to keep me company when she's gone. <laughs> Freaking run to Hokkaido if I have to! <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> お前自分で言っただろう。俺が止めたら迷いは迷うって。迷うから本当のことが話せなかったんじゃないかって。だったら俺はあいつを迷わせたくない。おお、わあ、インテリスティング。違うよ。フェイリス。She's right. You have to grasp this. This is your chance. If you let this go, you will forever regret it, Okabe. You'll live with yourself, but you'll never, ever forgive yourself for this. Not truly. If you try and fail, at least you tried. If you try and succeed, you'll make something happen. Fetch. Okabe. Why don't you could just go to Hokkaido too if you really need to? Like it sounds utterly insane, but fetch, it's for love! <sighs> yeah, I mean, anybody would. I'd argue guys too. I'm sure guys in this position would also like to be told they want to. They want to stay. Go, you idiot! Go! <laughs> you probably can't catch her. Go! So. <laughs> Yeah, give her the star. Mocha picked up the box holding a Christmas star and handing it to me. At the very least, yes. She gave you Mayushi doll. Like, you give her the star. And even if you never see each other again, you make sure she has something to help her feel better. Go! Fly! Fly, you fool! I looked from person to person in the lab, each one giving me a nod of approval. There he comes. Yes, come on. Come on. Step it up. Here he comes. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
I'm happy where my life is now. And I really don't think I'd want to change anything. But I do think that one of the first, one of the big mistakes I made with the first person I really like, I really was in love with is that when things got shaky and like she said that she didn't think it was going to work out anymore, I just accepted that. I shouldn't have been creepy, obviously. Like you never should be a stalker and you should accept that they say no. But like I never pursued it even a little bit. I just kind of like let it fall apart. I was really, really sad, but I just kind of like ran away from the problem, you know? I think if I had, I think if I'd at least like tried a bit more and at least like had like a really solid, like actual like conversation before it ended, I could have had more closure. It's one of my biggest regrets. I really don't think it would have worked out between us in the long run. And it shouldn't be, so, you shouldn't feel like you should force a confrontation or make it super awkward. If they genuinely just don't want to have a conversation with you, then then don't but like you got to try at least and like you want to walk away knowing that you did your best without being unreasonable or creepy like that line can be hard to to to, to define but in my opinion i felt quite short of it because i i i i don't like confrontation i'm a lot better about dealing with it than i used to be but like even still like i'm not a fan but back then i pretty much get crippled by the idea of having to have a direct confrontation of some kind and so I just didn't handle it very well. I and mean, it's okay. Like things worked out much better in the long run for both of us anyway. But I do agree that like Okabe can't let this just rest as it is. At the very least, he needs to like confront her about and like he needs to at least make sure to say what he actually feels and accept that she could turn him down and wish her the best regardless. But yeah. I'm excited. The chase is on and we'll see what happens next time. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. As always, it's a pleasure having you here and being able to share these stories with you. Thank you to the patrons who are helping make the channel better. I have a patron cast coming up very soon, I promise. Oh man, oh man. Like it'll come out tomorrow for all those guys. It's a late, it'll be April's late one, but we're going to go through and press on. So I think it'll be fine, but it'll be good to talk about some interesting things coming up on the channel anyway. So if you're interested in that, consider joining on the patron side also apparently youtube messaged me asking if i want to start memberships on the channel i'm hesitant to do that because i've already got the patreon going but if i can join them somehow like it could give you an option of patreon or membership if you prefer either one we'll see uh, i honestly didn't think i was at the threshold i thought you had to have like uh over like 10,000 subscribers to do memberships but they said i could activate it so we'll see about that uh, again, though, I don't want that to be like the focus of the channel. Like I'm never going to make really super exclusive content. The only thing is going to be that patron cast, which is just an opportunity for you guys to really hear the nuts and bolts behind the scenes, really be able to ask me direct questions to give me solid, like really like direct feedback on the channel more so than just the passive, uh, kind of not really passive. I shouldn't say like more of like, there's the casual interaction, but then there's like having direct say in the channel. That's the biggest difference there, but it's really minimal. Like, frankly, I'm just happy you're here. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Lots of cool Muv Love news coming out, so keep an eye out on that because I'm sure there's going to be some kind of stuff I'm going to talk about, about in that in that regard. But regardless of that, it'll be interesting. So let's just jump in, into the future and like hopefully you'll enjoy and be ready for next week's episode. But until next video, watching me, I'll see me in next. I'll see you there.